Hey guys, welcome back to Red Devil TV. Where are Man United at at the moment? Managers to come in, Pochettino, Ten Hag is going to be either one of those. For sure, I mean, a couple of months, a couple of months ago, I said it. We're going to get probably Pochettino. We're probably going to get a manager who, as we've seen over the years, has bottled it on many occasions. He just bottled a Champions League a couple of weeks ago with PSG uh, versus Real Madrid. He bottled it when he was at Tottenham in the Champions League final. And he bottled the last loss they just had against Monaco 3-0. So look, if, if I'm going to be honest, right? I like Poch. I think he's a good manager. I do think that um, people are exaggerating on him as a manager. I feel like PSG as a team have a lot of... They have a lot of problems with PSG as a team. I feel like they've got too many players who are passengers in the team. And I know that, look, as Man United, as we know as fans of Man United, that we have passengers, passengers in our team at times. We do have players who don't track back they don't want to do the defensive work they're supposed to do players like Rashford like Ronaldo at times like um you know even you can argue Bruno Fernandes at times you know a lot of players are in wrong positions at the wrong time and this is why we need midfielders as well because we've had problems with Fred and McTominay not being in the right positions at the right time defensively and even though they're full of energy the positional sense and where they're supposed to be at, at, certain, at certain times, the pitches are, are terrible. So, um, look, look, looking at the manager situation, Romano came out a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, talking about how important this manager position is going to be and how, you know, obviously Ralph wants the job. But a couple of days ago, he just said, you know, this is going to be the biggest uh, decision Man United are going to make. And it's true. L let's look at it. Look at the managers we've had. David Moyes, uh, Van Gaal, Mourinho, Oli. Now Ralph. Ralph as an interim manager, of course. But look, I think right now, people want Ten Hag. I think he's the, the, the most popular option. I know they, they lost to, to Benfica in the Champions League. But if I'm going to be completely honest, I feel like Ten Hag is going to be the man for this job. He's going to be a man who's going to work with Ralph Rennick. Put Ralph Rennick upstairs. You know, I had said a couple of videos ago, if we don't get uh, uh, Ten Hag and we get Pochettino and said, I'd rather stay with Ralph for another year, to be completely honest with you. I would rather a manager who... Um, look, we might get Ten Hag next summer. If he doesn't come this summer, he might come next summer unless we get Poch. And I don't want Poch. I think he, he's a bottler. He won't be able to deal with the egos we have at this club. Um, you know, PSG have egos. They have Neymar, Mbappe, uh, Messi, of course. Um, and we're in a similar situation in that sense. We have big players in our team. We have the Rashers, the Ronaldos in our team. Um, and essentially, I feel like he looks a bit like a manager who's just going to listen to the board and do whatever they tell him to do. I don't think he's going to be a manager who's going to change much. Um, if anything, of course, look, there are a couple of plays we need this summer. We need a striker. We need a fullback, possibly two midfielders, in my opinion, and a winger, I, I feel, as well. So, um, look, there's a lot of progress to be made in this football club at Manchester United. And I feel like the manager that comes in next is going to have big responsibilities. And there's a risk with, with whatever manager we get. And for me, it's either Poch or Ten Hag, not because they have to be. Um, there are other managers out there. And I've saw, I saw a couple of people talking about Simeone coming to Manchester United. But I feel like we need Ten Hag. We need a manager who's going to change everything. Someone who's going to work with Ralph Frenick. Someone who, who's going to buy these 30, 20 million pound players who are very good players. He's not going to go for those crazy 60, 70, 80 million pound players. And not that some of those players aren't good. The likes of Declan Rice, Harry Kane, um, of course, Ronaldo when he came. Of course, we got him for, for, for a fairly low um, price. But, you know, he wasn't the last year last year of his contract at Juve. He wasn't happy there. And, and look, at this point, we need a manager who's going to make the difference. And... Romano said this is going to be the biggest decision Man United have ever made and it's true. I have a feeling they're going to go with Poch if I'm being completely honest with you. I think they're going to choose Poch, the, the manager who, you know, who's been in the Premier League. Um, is it more of a risk going with Poch? Not really because Poch has done it in the Premier League. Not that he's won anything in the Premier League. He's, he's done, done well, very well with Tottenham. Um, PSG is going to win the league, of course. But look, I've done some research and PSG have done terribly against the top six in, in the French League. They've, they've drawn a couple, they've lost a couple, they've won a few as well. But... Come on, if you're the best team in France, you should be winning almost every single game. Um, they got battered 3-0 by Monaco. I know Messi wasn't playing by Neymar, Mbappe, Nuno Mendes. They got ballers in their team. They got absolute ballers in their team. And you're thinking, mate, how is Poch bottling this? And I feel like for me, it's partly based on, look, you've got players in their team who clearly don't work. I feel like Messi, Mbappe, Neymar don't work. I mean, they, they, they have, of course, fluidity, fluidity in the attack. But when it comes to the defensive discipline and the... Uh, work to track back and do the defensive work they're just not it um, how many pictures have we seen this season of PSG where Neymar and Mbappe and, and Messi are well on, on, on the attacking side of the pitch and then you have the team counter attacking against them and they're not they're not even bothered to to get back they're walking back or they're jogging back so um, 
you know, look, this Ronaldo situation, we, we saw the, the, the news that apparently he wants to stay. And I, I don't think he's got on the memo because we're not getting top four, in my opinion. Look, Arsenal beat Aston Villa 1-0 the other day. Um, it's going to be a tough one to get top four, to be completely honest. It's going to be a really tough one. And I don't buy it anyway. Uh, we're not going to get, because he believes we're going to win Champions League in the league next year. So in his mind, he clearly thinks that we're going to get top four, but we're not, in my opinion. I think he hasn't got the memo. I, don't, I, I highly... Look, Tottenham are ahead of us right now. We beat them. I think they're... One or two points ahead of us right now. And we beat them twice this season. So it shows how bad we've been. The losses to Watford, the losses to Leicester, the struggling against Norwich, the struggling against um, Burnley. Um, you know, we've struggled a lot this season. City, we got battered both times. Leicester, we got in a few weeks. We got battered by them 4-2 under Raleigh. Let's see what happens there. But guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to enjoy these international games coming up. I know that a lot of people are very bored of this international talk. And we've seen the, the England team coming up with Southgate. Sancho wasn't picked. Obviously, Rashford wasn't going to be picked. But I'm going to enjoy these international games. Obviously, Portugal got a game against uh, Turkey. And hopefully, if they go through, we've got North Macedonia or Italy in the finals. Um, very nervous for that game as well. A big, big um, game for Ronaldo and Portugal. I mean, Ronaldo personally, because for him, he's 37 years old. Um, if we're not getting the World Cup this year... It's going to be a tough one. And then, obviously, the, the Portuguese national team, a team where, in my opinion, um, they've never had this amount of talent, Portugal, in a matter of years. I mean, look at the number of years. Um, you know, look at the Decos, look, look, look at the Figos, look at the, um, obviously, Ronaldo when he was younger, look at Morelos, look at Pepe in his prime, Bruno Alves. Um, you know, we had ballers in our team. And, and, and now Portugal are in, a, are in a space where they just about, right now, got the prime talents in their team, the likes of João Felix, the likes of Jugo Jota, Neto, uh, Ruben Neves, uh, Ruben Diaz, you know, Cancelo. Um, and it's been a long time, Portugal haven't had that team, you know, for a good, I want to say eight to ten years, Portugal were not in the best position to win anything. Um, you know, Ronaldo carried us a lot in those tournaments, you know, the playoffs versus Sweden to get into the to the World Cup, the... Um, the Euros 2016, you know, I know he didn't play the final, but we got carried in that tournament. And it, of course, it's a miracle what Fernando Santos did with Portugal in 2016. But I'll do a separate video in regards to the playoffs against Turkey because, listen, when Oli was at Man United, I, I saw a lot of similarities in terms of Portugal and Man United under Oli. So, guys, let me know what you think about Manchester United. A bit off topic there, but let's see what happens with Man United. I think in the next couple of weeks, we're going to start to get some information about the manager. I think, I think Ten Hag is the right man. The man who's going to make the difference in terms of the players. He's going to sign 20 to £40 million pound signings max. Um, and that's it. That's what we need. We need good players from different countries. Germany, France, you know. It just seems like, you know, it seems like they, the board just want English players um, you know, it's, a, it's it's just crazy how Maguire still plays. Luke Shaw still played under Rolly. You know, Ollie was a puppet. He was someone who, with no offence, you know, he clearly didn't want to drop his best players, best players in his opinion, because he had favourites and that's it. So, um, guys, let's see what happens. Um, I hope we get Ten Hag. So, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.